The first topic of this course is definitions. Let's meet Daniel Collins. Daniel is a new hire in the leadership development program for Flynn's, an international hotel chain. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'll be working in the corporate fraud department for the next three months. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a corporate fraud investigator working out of Flynn's corporate headquarters. The typical organization loses 5% of its revenue each year to fraud. So a $10 billion company loses $500 million in revenue. That has a direct impact on share price. Let's join Anna and Daniel as they discuss corporate fraud. Fraud seems like a big problem. What exactly do you mean by corporate fraud? It's an intentional breach of laws or internal rules by employees or external parties having business with the organization. The fraud must benefit them, others or their organization. Flynn's loses an estimated $200 million per year due to fraud. Wow! Can you give me an example of fraud? Sure. Many years ago, a manager responsible for buying television sets made a deal with the television manufacturer's account representative. What kind of deal? The account representative convinced him not to negotiate a discount. As a result, the account representative got his bonus. Then he shared half of the bonus with the manager. Situations like those may seem harmless, but small amounts of fraud add up. The result is a lower share price. Corporations know this and are watching for fraud.